I'm Christopher Coates, editor-at-large of Whiskey Magazine. Today we're heading to Hopeton House near Edinburgh for the Distillers One of One auction. The result of a partnership between the Distillers Charity and Auctioneers Sotheby's, the Distillers One of One auction offers a unique opportunity for the Scotch whisky industry to showcase its rarest whiskies and the skills of the country's most talented artisans, while working together to better the lives of underprivileged young people in Scotland. We'll be hearing about the vital work enabled by the Distillers Charity's Youth Action Fund and learning about a selection of the immeasurably rare one-off whiskies that are going under the hammer. I'm Grant Gordon. I'm chairman of Distillers Charity. Uh, the charity is the philanthropic arm of the Worshipful Company of Distillers. We're very proud as Distillers Charity um, to have this unique partnership with the Scotch whisky industry, which has led through the one of one auction to the creation of the Youth Action Fund. The Youth Action Fund's mission is to help transform the lives of young people in Scotland, particularly young people from disadvantaged backgrounds, to uh, enable them to thrive in their lives. Inspiring Scotland is an organisation that distributes funds through portfolios of third sector organisations focused on social change and social impact. So with the support of the Scotch whisky industry, the Youth Action Fund is a long-term commitment to a portfolio of organisations that work with the most disadvantaged young people in Scotland. Our contribution to, to this year's auction is Bowmore Stack. There's a few things that make it very special. One is that it's the oldest Bowmore that Bowmore Distillery has, has ever released. It's a 55-year-old single malt whisky. It's also a 1962 vintage, which Bowmore itself hasn't released before as well. In 1964, we know what happened was the stills went from direct fired to steam pan heated stills. So the 1962 vintage is a direct fire still Bowmore, which is brilliant. You know that that's a, as a collector or as a as a person who's really interested in how whiskey was made in different eras. This is a massive one. You know it's really significant. It's a Magnum, uh, 1.5 liter bottle. I say bottle. <laughs> it's a little bit different to what you might think of as as a normal bottle. It's it's very much a glass sculpture. It's uh, inspired by the the more natural elements of Isla, the small sea stacks that, that sit just off the coast of Isla. Young disadvantaged people in Scotland deserve a chance. Uh, and the Youth Action Fund, through the Worshipful Company of Distillers, are working together as a group to raise funds uh, for those people. And that's, uh, that's really important. And it's brilliant for the industry and for the brands involved as well uh, to give something back. <laughs> Well, this year, well, the past few years, I've been working on creating this bottle. It's Glenglassa, 55 years old. It's the oldest, most rare expression we've ever released from Glenglassa. This bottle is truly one of a kind. There is so much time and attention to detail has gone into crafting the whiskey and also crafting the, the bottle, the box, and even the little drawer that tells the story and, and all the three individual cast samples that come with it. What I wanted to create was the quintessential coastal elixir. So with this particular expression, I sampled three casks, one from 1963, one 65 and one from 67, and combined them in just the right proportions to get just the perfect um, balance of Glenglassa at 55 years old. I think whoever is the, the lucky person who bids the highest for this unique ultra rare Glenglassa will absolutely be the envy of the whiskey world. Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying the video. This is just a quick message to tell you a little bit about Whiskey Magazine. Founded in 1998, Whiskey Magazine is the world's leading authority on whiskey, and we're proud to be celebrating our 25th year of continuous publication. Published in print eight times per year and offering regular news coverage online at whiskeymag.com, every issue of the title features whiskies from all over the world and includes distillery focuses, interviews, and topical features penned by the leading drinks writers on the planet.
Each issue explores whiskey's people, places, history and production and carries blind tastings of newly released whiskies of all styles to help you pick your next bottle to drink, collect or gift. Follow the link to claim your free digital edition and check out the latest subscription offers. Enjoy! So Loch Lomond Group has donated two lots this year and um, we have one from Glen Scotia. It is a 49 year old which is the oldest uh, bottling we've released to date and we have undertaken the bottling for Distillers 1 of 1 in collaboration with our artist in residence, Alice Angus. While I was the artist in residence, I produced a series of paintings called Spirit Safe, and we agreed from the outset that those paintings would only be sold if it was for charity. So one of those is being sold tonight along with the Glen Scotia main lot. And then to accompany that, Glen Scotia asked if I would paint the inside of the walnut cabinet that the decanter sits in. And both of those pieces really are about the kind of care and commitment that the community have taken to maintain Glen Scotia and keep this, it, the spirit of whiskey alive in Campbelltown for all these many generations. So you've got this incredibly old rare whiskey, this amazing piece of artwork that captures both the past and the present, and then this display box that Alice has painted just for this auction that brings them all together. Uh, so our second but no less important lot is from Little Mill Distillery. Uh, Little Mill is a real treasure for us. It is Scotland's oldest licensed distillery, but it's also an extinct distillery. Um, closed in 1994 and then burnt down in 2004. We have the last precious casks that remain. They're owned by Loch Lomond Group. They're stored only a short distance up the road from where the original distillery once stood. And our master blender is, if you like, the final custodian of those casks and their journey. So for the first time you have the final three chapters of Little Mill presented together as one. It's never been done before, we're very very unlikely to ever do it again, so again a true one of one. The first auction raised an incredible £2 million for the Youth Action Fund, which officially launched in March 2022. It's inspiring Scotland's role to work with charities that deliver meaningful results in line with the fund's principles. So the principles of the fund Primarily, number one is about social change and social impact. It's about working with disadvantaged young people to make a real and lasting change to their lives, to overcome the barriers that are in their way to success. We're delighted to be supporting the Distillers One of One auction because it is such a worthy cause that the funds raised go to. It's an amazing event, it's an amazing venue, but really at the heart of it, is the Youth Action Fund and, and helping young people across Scotland who maybe come from less advantaged positions. The donation that we've made to the Distillers Auction is a unique piece. It's a personal piece as well to the family um, whose inventory we're able to draw from. It's based around Hazelwood House, which is the home of the Gordon family in Speyside. It's an architectural advent box which has been inspired by that family home. So the format of the box is 24 individual doors and behind each door is a whiskey that has either been part of the Hazelwood collections released to date or is one of our upcoming releases for next year. You drink one of them each day on the run up to Christmas and at the middle of the box is a large format bottle, a 70 CL of a heavily sherried blended scotch whiskey produced specifically for this piece, uh, only one bottle of which will ever be produced. Another principle of the Youth Action Fund is the geographic spread. That is based on where the need is greatest among young people, aligned with the footprint of the scotch whiskey industry. This year Glen Turret donated a lot of four Lalique Crystal decanters. Inside each of the decanters, Bob Dogarno, our whiskey maker, created a whiskey to represent each of the centuries that Glen Turret has existed in. And we encased that in a uh, bespoke cabinet from Method Studio in Lalithgow. Glen Turret was involved in the uh, first distillers charity and we received the Youth Action Report uh, back last year. And really the positive impact that that money had at the last auction is great to take back to the team and say, look, Let's renew our energies, renew our strength and, and put something creative together again, again this year. The third principle is collaboration. We do believe that better together and the collaborative nature of the portfolio means that the impact is increased. The Scotch whisky industry has a real heritage of collaboration through the Scotch Whisky Association. There's organisations like Keepers of the Quaich, 
but also obviously the worshipful company of distillers. So the industry does come together, I think really like no other in the world, to collaborate and to create something that is greater than the sum of its parts. So yeah, Diageo, we are delighted to be supporting the auction with our Brora Iris, which is a 50 year old bottling of Brora. It's presented in an absolutely stunning presentation, a sculpture hewn from the same stone that the distillery was built from. Since the inaugural auction in 2021, we've achieved great things already. Over 1,400 young people have been engaged and embarked on that journey towards a positive future. This is a phenomenal achievement in a short space of time. So looking forward from the first auction and the last 24 months, this auction and the generosity of the Scotch whisky industry will change lives and will enable us to build on the success that we've achieved so far and make that impact even greater. This year's auction achieved an outstanding total of £2.25 million, doubling the pre-sale low estimate, with the hammer price of £1.8 million primarily benefiting the Youth Action Fund. This means that the first two Distillers 1 of 1 auctions have raised a combined total of £4.2 million for charity, an incredible achievement that's a testament to Scotch Whisky's unique appeal, collaborative culture and commitment to Scotland's young people.